Brewery Travelers. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Hey, it's always fun to get together. Well, absolutely. Not only just have a beer, but talk about beer. Talk about beer and talk about sports a little bit. Let's do that. Let's start off with some football. Oh, let's talk about some football. You know, last time that yeah. we were here, yeah. we were talking about which teams we're going to be playing for our, our second round of contests. Well, we did. And we had, uh, we had six... Six towns, six six, uh, six universities, six towns. That's correct. That's correct. We had uh, Georgia, South Carolina. We had Auburn, Penn State, and Oklahoma, Nebraska That's as right. the games. That's right. And that represents six different towns. Six different. We're going to be. We were at one of those breweries in one of those six towns. Let's talk about that today. Okay, I think we should. I think we should too. All right, go for it. Go? Yeah, ready to go. All right, now Mike. You, well, uh, you just came back. You Bev just came back from Virginia. We just came back from Virginia. And uh, you're on your way through on the way home. On the way through on the way home. And by golly, between Virginia and Florida is South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, and they got breweries. And they have bre they have good breweries. And they have one of the universities that we were talking about, South Carolina. South Carolina. That's where Georgia and South Carolina are playing this week. The Gamecocks. Gamecocks, absolutely. And by the way, the three breweries we were at, one was Twisted Spur. Yeah. Twisted Spur is really a restaurant environment. I mean, if I would okay. walk in and look at it, you'd think you were sitting in a restaurant, okay? It has a very large bar when you first walk in. Right. And they have uh, a, a real specialty. They have, they sell oysters. They have lots of oysters. And they have a about wide range of oysters. Wow. Yeah, they have a, actually a menu with about five different levels of oysters wow. that you can pick. And so if you're, if you're into raw oysters, hey, even with breweries, okay, this is a great place to go. I'm kind of surprised Barbara hadn't made this a weekly trip for us. I'm surprised you know, she hasn't. She Absolutely. Uh, she, does. she does. You're right. And, and the uh, brewery itself is, is right downtown. It's, right. it's if you're downtown Columbia, right. you're right there. And it's a uh, uh, neat place. It's got a very large outside area yeah. that's covered. Right. It's got a large, long bar that you can sit at. How, but Mike, I'm, uh, how was the beer? Beer was very good. Really? Beer was very good. We both had an IPA, and we um, enjoyed the IPA. They have a range of probably about 10 beers there. Okay. And uh, a pretty good range as far as what they were. Good. So the end result is we had several beers there, and, and then we, we moved on to a really fabulous place, and uh, that was the uh, place called Steel Hands. Steel Hands. Steel Hands. All right. Steel Hands is outside of the city. Yeah. It's about four or five miles from the one that I just made reference to. Okay. Steel Hands has a huge area in an industrial park. Oh. The brewery itself is very, very large, even on the inside. The brewery outside has an equally large area filled with picnic tables. Really? It does, yes. And uh, They can accommodate quite a crowd, Mike. They can. They can. And actually, as far as the type of beer we had, they had probably six or seven below 6% IPAs. Oh, gosh. They, they catered everybody. They, they really specialized oh, with the good. IPAs. They had probably about 20 beers. And uh, so it was was really nice. They also have food. Uh, in our case, we when we went there, we had uh, some chicken tenders. Really? Some chicken tenders okay. and fries. And they were really, really good. Right. They really were good. So I got to tell you, Mike, with with, uh, with uh, a number of beers in the less than six percent range, they're kind of catering to to the uh, designated driver. The definitely are. They definitely are. And that ain't bad because that that makes it wide open for us. Yes, yeah. that's true. That's absolutely true. And uh, they, <laughs> they, tons of parking is the best description. They have got a huge well, parking park, lot. You would think. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Right. absolutely. Like I say, it's not very far from downtown, and it's not but a few miles off the interstate. So, Danny, if you happen to be driving through, it's a good place to be able to stop. Get in. Yeah, get absolutely. In, get your lunch, get your cold beer, go. That's right. If you got your pets with you, that shouldn't be a problem, Mike. Pets are absolutely a not a problem. Yeah. Pets are absolutely not. But it is. Go. They are very emphatic about the fact that pets have to stay outside. No pets on the inside. But you got so much space out there, it doesn't matter. We've been to places where they're, they're, they're emphatic that I stay outside. So I just want to know. <laughs> you know, that's okay with me. I haven't had that problem, Bob. I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> now, you guys went to the third one. And I got to tell you, three in one town. 
three and one ten. You're right. And, and and the third one is by far the smallest. Okay. I would doubt the inside holds more than a total of fifty people at the most. Oh wow! Oh wow! Uh, it's got a small tap area, okay. but they probably have maybe eight beers. Yeah. They're really specialized type beers. Hey, I'll tell you what. You know from watching this show before, I'm an IPA guy. Yes, yeah, sure. Hey, I made a big shift here. I went to the uh, Habanero Brown. Oh. Very, very spicy beer. It was spicy, It was only 6.2, so not heavy okay. on alcohol. Uh, ain't gonna hurt you. It was a really, really, really good beer. Uh, and uh, he even talked about how to cook bot first in, but I don't remember all that detail. Now, so He? He? Who are you talking about, he? Doug. Doug yeah. was the Doug. bartender there. And Doug was the bartender. Yeah. And I've been just a super, super guy. Yeah. And he, we had a great discussion with him about, about even the stadium there. That's neat. The, uh, is the, it very far? Is it? It's about, again, four miles from downtown. Okay, all right. Uh, but the great thing about this in terms of timing, in terms of location, it's probably less than a half a mile to Bryce Stadium. Oh, it's so close to the stadium. Foot, football season is fabulous. And he's got a special there. That yeah. you're, he's got, you got a waiting list for this. So you, you don't plan on doing this. They sell 50 parking lots on a season ticket basis. 50 parking spots. 50 for, parking spots okay. for the football games. Okay. Those 50 parking spots, when you paid for your season tickets there, yeah. you, you get four beers every game. Every game? Every game. This is a deal that I cannot believe. For, I'm not, for 50? How much? How much no, does no, it cost? it's $300. $300. It's $300. That's only 43 a game, and you're getting $20 worth of beer. And, and but you know, you're getting over $20 worth of parking. That's right. That's Absolutely. Deal. Absolutely. It's a fabulous deal. That's the reason they have such a long waiting list. That's the reason I say don't look for that deal. <laughs> are you ready? To, or, or, we're not ready to move there for this deal. No, no, no. It would be a case of you know, driving up there every other weekend to play for a football game. <laughs> but it does sound like a good deal. Oh, it's, it's like a super fun, deal. It's like a fun, well, how, tell me how the beer was. The beer was very, I told you already about yeah. the... the um, you did, the habanero brown. Habanero brown. Yeah. And, and well, the beer was good. It was very good. Ben was with me. She had a great beer also. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Well, good job. We've got. I'd love uh, to hear the report. I wish we them? could have been there. Uh, you're going to have to stop, stop there. Absolutely. There is no way, Mike, we're going to head north of anywhere and not stop for oysters. I, I can believe That's that. I, I know that wife of yours. Oh, yeah. she, she's in the oysters. Miss Oyster. All yeah. Right. So we're going to do that. Thank you, Mike. Now, Mike, we got uh, we got to turn. Back to football a little bit. We do have to turn back to football. We got to make some picks. We do. We do. And I tell you what, one of these is going to be probably pretty tough. I think. A couple of them are going to be a little bit easier, but you know me and I, how I like to pick upsets. I do. Yeah, you can probably get ahead of me again. You picked one in the first week one. I did. Yeah. I did. So, which one do we want to go with first? Georgia, South Carolina. Uh, we got to do that. All right. Which one do you want to go? I'm going UGA. Oh, you're going to do Georgia again. You know what? Huh? I'm gonna be with you this time. I, <laughs> I, I, I really, I mean, I, I, South Carolina, Columbia, yeah. their breweries went all time big over Athens, okay? Well, they but may. football, I know you have a hard time with that one too. I do, I but do, anyway, I, do. I will pick, I will pick Georgia also. Okay. Well, I gotta tell you, in week one, they just looked. Uh, almost mechanical, they were so precise. They are going to be a very and, good uh, team. All right, let's go to another game. All right, I think the next one we should, should talk about is Oklahoma and Nebraska. I, you know, Mike, I got to tell you, when I was growing up, this was the marquee game, and you had Johnny Rogers from the Cornhuskers, you had Greg Pruitt from the Sooners, and oh, man. I went to University of Kansas, yeah. and almost all the schools now do a great job of having their stands filled with the color of the school t yeah. team. Yeah, sure. When I was at Kansas, Kansas played Nebraska. Yeah. The entire end zone was pure red. I've red. never seen it like that, okay? <laughs> so, I'm not a Nebraska fan because we lost that game. But in any event, I have to go with Oklahoma on this one. I, uh, you know, Mike, I got to tell you, I think Oklahoma's going to step out too. I respect Frost because of his job at Uni uh, University of Central Florida, but it just hasn't worked for him in no, Nebraska. There's something going on there, Mike. I'm, I'm going with Sooners. Okay. I, I'm have to go with the Sooners also, but I bet we split on the next one. Well, let's see. Who you got? I'm going with Auburn. You know, Mike, I'm going to go Penn State. Okay. You're an SEC guy. I, I am an SEC. True and true. True and true. I don't think. 
But you know what? Penn State, I think they've got it right now. Okay, well, that's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We I, I really think that probably you're in trouble. Well, you know what? But I thought Mike, that last week. <laughs> if, if we bet a beer on it mm -hmm. and then and then we're together, you'd have to pay me off. I'd want you to pay me off. I'll do that. I'll do that, but I expect but, the same. But if you win, we won't be together. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, we've, we've got to go. We're going to go to an island and do our next show. Uh, sounds good to me. Let's go. All right, let's go. See ya.